rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Uh, there is no possible way of saying no to that. He was behind. That's no. I'm definitely not going to be that. No. That pretty much confirms what she says. That also confirms that. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry. We'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. You're welcome. Why do I feel like I've just stepped through a bloody minefield? On a scale of 1 to 10, how badly did I screw that up? I used to have an office here. Spend half my time doing paperwork. Yeah. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the complete changing of subject as a sign that I, I did really, really well. Did did Earth proud and didn't get myself into any trouble with the council whatsoever. Hello, Commander. How are you doing? I just want to check. Show me what you've got. I just want to check. I'll open the rare the stock prices. for you, Commander. Enjoy. Now, a lot of this, for example, these things I can actually get from our onboard um, requisitions officer now. So, honest. Oh, I can actually afford that. How does it compare? Oh, it compares. Oh, yes, it very much compares. But ha it. Okay. It just doesn't quite compare as much as that. That just costs two. Mind you, I've got 100,000 already. 280. Look at the accuracy. I mean, that's a big step up in, in damage and heat sink, I guess. But that extra damage. Heat sink's not quite as good, but the, the accuracy. That is really nice. That'll mean I, I don't have to rely on the pistol as much as well, but we are, of course, a long way off being able to get that. What about armor? Well, there's definitely some... That's slightly better in... No, actually, no. My current armor's better. Honestly? Probably just saving up for the good weapons then, and I can buy those on the ship. All right. So, where are we going? To the docking? No, to the Presidium. We need to go to the docks. I want to go to the docks. But bef that's the lower wards. But before we do that, let's just go and uh, speak to, uh, to the Admiral, who is, of course... Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Yeah, I guess that's not really going to impress them very much. Um, right. To the embassies, to the tech. Should we check in with Udina? Where's Anderson's office? The embassy. Oh! We killed a slaver. Yes, we did. We killed a slaver. And, um... Right. We we found out she has a sister who's in the... Uh, in. You know what? We'll, 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 we'll deal with that a little later. I want to get this information to the Admiral first. Still arguing with someone over the comm. Doubt he's had any success. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council yeah. assistants. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, Rear Admiral. Commander, but, um, any word on my missing men? Yeah. They were killed by a thresher mob. A thresher mob? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Mm. 
Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Totally agree. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. All right. At least he can stop trying to argue with someone to speak to the council, which was never going to happen. Oh, that's the man. Yeah, I, I'm going to check out his brother's last location when I get a chance. I haven't forgotten. The person we're looking for is called Nasana, and she should be in the Embassy Lounge. Not really sure how she's going to take this. I mean, her sister's dead, and I killed her. But her sister was blackmailing her. So I don't know whether she's going to be happy or sad. And let's face it, I'm hardly the most diplomatic person ever. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the Human Spectre. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah. You're Nasana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. It didn't end well for her. What? Like I said. Are you saying she's... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I'm saying. Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now. Okay. It? You wanted your sister dead? If people found so, out my sister was a criminal, not sad, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. Uh, it, uh credits won't... I'm, no, I'm not shaking her down. No, I'm not shaking her down. I'm... I mean... She hasn't done anything wrong, I suppose. She was going to ask me to hunt down a criminal, a slaver, a slaver that attacked me. Just... Yeah, to be honest, there's just something about this scenario is making me uncomfortable. I'm like, you you keep your money. I'm just, uh, let's just say this was a courtesy call. I, I killed a slaver and I'm, and I'm telling you what I thought might be bad news, but there you go. So... Let's just go our separate ways. I don't want your blood money. No. I do not like being in anyone's debt. Consider it a fee for doing your civic duty if it makes you feel any better. Or give it away to some charity. Oh, okay. I care not. The funds are already on their way. They are your problem now. Uh, fair enough, but as long as we're clear here, you and I did not have a... deal. This conversation did not happen. It just feel a bit mm, uncomfortable about this situation. I, I feel like we're stepping in politics again. If it had been a C-Sec bounty or something, I wouldn't have thought twice about it, but not totally sure how Top Brass is gonna feel about me wandering off and killing diplomats' sisters, regardless of whether or not they are, in fact, criminals or not. Okay, you know what, though? She gave us some money. Let's do a little shopping. I think we're going to start at the docks, yeah? Which would be the wards. Uh, the med clinic. Hey, Doc. Let's just... Replenish the med gel. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? I'm just... Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Reminding myself... Right, this was the one... Oh, no, it was really stupidly expensive. That's right. It was 300... No, we're definitely going to be buying shotguns first. I mean, I can afford that, but honestly, three regeneration instead of two, it's barely 
that one's that one's good partly because of the regeneration partly well and a big part due to the uh, toxin resistance but also the 15 percent reduction in power cooldown i'm just not sure that's better than a shotgun in fact i'm mind you i say that i say that I've already got a pretty good shotgun and 15% reduction in cooldown. Uh, it's not a terrible thing. Right, what are the traders with it? There were some in the lower wards. Oh, and there was one in the financial district as well. We should check them all. Now that I've got some money, I just need to remind myself what my options actually are. Were. This isn't a proof of purchase. No. It's a bank statement. It showed that it was I you, something right? It. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Heavy armor, new. No. Medium armor, assassin. Assassin six. It's, I mean, it's a little better shield, but a good mod makes much bigger a much bigger difference than that. And the damage protection's a little better. I mean, it, it, no, it is. It's better. It is better. I mean, there's no ands, ifs, or buts, but I just, I don't know whether it's worth that at the moment or whether I should save up. I need to save up about 300,000 for a decent shotgun. Medigel upgrade. Increase maximum units of Medigel by one. Yes. I have a feeling I'm going to need as much Medigel as possible. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, oh. Conrad Werner. Remember me? Yeah. Ugh. You were too busy to talk last time, but that's not a problem. I know you're busy being the first human specter and all. Yeah. What do you need? There's a lot going on right now. Is there something I can do for you? This will be fast. I just wanted you to know what a big fan I am, and I was wondering if I could get a picture. Okay, if I, if I give you... If, if you could take a picture with me, then you're happy, yeah? <sighs> Fine. Sure, no problem. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Okay, that was a little creepy. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Still creepy. You have a wife? You... Does she know where you are? She is not gonna want a picture of me hanging in... That man needs help that I cannot provide. Let's hope he will just leave us alone now, yeah? Right. There really are no customers down here. Morlan! Right. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Who's ba did, did I not ask you about Baines? Did I not ask you? What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Oh, okay. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. That was... Very good things I have. My, you will see. My intimidating buyer face. Oh, yeah. A few non -hu No, standard items. Let's see what you got. Right. Assault rifle. 62,000 is kind of a lot. It's not even that good. I mean, really, it's only a bit better than... than mine. And it's not as good as, as Rex. It's more accurate. Heavy armor Krogan. Why isn't that in the non-human armors? That is actually pretty nice. That is actually a substantial upgrade. It's also 40,000. Thing is, I want to save up for the spec gear. I, I feel like I can probably find this stuff, whereas I will not be able to find the Spectre stuff. So I, I want to save my money up for that and grenade upgrade. Increase maximum number of grenades. You know what? We should take all of the upgrades for now and keep saving up for the Spectre gear unless we see something 
you know, very nice. Maybe, maybe the odd license or two. All right. I don't think there are any more traders down in the wards. I think the only other trader is on the financial district. Do you? Do I know you? you? They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. I... Do I know you? I just got the feeling you were hanging around waiting to talk to me, I, but... Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. Yeah, done with that. So I ran with the Reds. That's behind me now. We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old time's sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. Why, wh why would I want to do that? What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. No. They declared him a problem, Actually, and they're shipping him back for a Sometimes truck. they can be a little uptight, but... What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. And you thought I would bust out one of your uh, gang for you? You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. Uh, how about no? My gang days are over, Finch. Get out of my way. Suit yourself, Shepard. If you change your mind, he's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. And Shepard, you might not run with the Reds anymore, but you really don't want us as your enemies. Is that a... Okay, so there's a Turian in Korra's den. <sighs> All right, let's just go and chat to the man and see what the situation is. I don't think I'm going to be helping my old gang out. Is it? Yeah? I'm going to help you. I got a warning. I want human relief. No, I don't. Cut loop. No. Uh, okay, yeah, no, I, I've got a warning, I guess. A human named Finch wanted me to use my authority as a specter to free Kurt Wiseman. A xenophobe? I should have known he'd have friends. Xenophobe. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard of his cell. Okay. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. What? When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. D shoot him. <laughs> uh... Probably. So what? I don't care. I don't care. Why would I care about about that? That was a long time ago. Do you think anyone else is gonna care? You think I care what the aliens think of me, Finch? But this is your career. You throw it all away like that? I'm a spectre. My my career is safe, mate. I, you, on the other hand, not so. The aliens need me, Finch. I'm not going anywhere, no matter what stories you tell. The Spectre has overcome a troubled youth to lead a proud military career. The Turians would not care about such things. And I doubt your lies would fool the Salarians or the Asari. Fine, Shepard, you're right. You're not one of the Reds. Maybe you never were. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a Spectre. You should have killed him. Okay, if you'd said that beforehand, I might have. I figured that might... I mean, I know I'm against... I know I'm not bound by the usual rules, but I thought that might go down as a bit of an incident. He's just... Yeah. 
I didn't need target practice. Don't you have a prisoner to guard? Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of specter you turn out to be. One that doesn't randomly shoot people in a bar? I mean, don't get me wrong, there was a side of me wanted to. But overall, isn't, I mean, isn't that somewhat abusing the Spectre Authority? I mean, I've got this license to ignore the rules. I think I'm supposed to be using it for, um, fairly important things, not killing people who annoy the crap out of me. Um, what was I saying? Right, yeah. Ward, yeah, Presidium, we want to go to the financial district, yes. Right, Emporian Shopkeeper. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Yes, I would. How Show me your items. fantastic are we talking? Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Upgrades. Let's let's check out the upgrades. Everyone likes upgrades. Combat scanner fight. Medical interface. Base. That's still a pretty good one, actually, but no. Right. I've got... Oh. Also pretty good, but expensive. Yeah, I'm going to wait and see if I can find those. Oh, God, Rex. Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic definitely, items today? Definitely. Definitely want to see your fantastic items. Tell me your items. But I want to see the standard ones oh, now. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> I, the track record so far suggests maybe... Ooh, Firestorm. Okay, I like the name. That's a shotgun. And it's... Okay, it's a little bit more accurate, bit more damage, but less heat sink. I mean... Oh, 70,000. I mean, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sticking with... Devlon Industries License. It's expensive, but this is a unique item. And it will let me get some new stock on the ship. So, ultimately, that's almost certainly... Uh, uh, Stinger 5, don't I? Oh, I've got the stiletto. Well, it's not that good. Nope, not that good at all. All right. Thank you very much. Right. So, I think we've the transit system this way. I think we've got all of our shopping done. Got a moment, Spectre? Uh, maybe? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How do you know? Everybody knows me. Uh, yes, good for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. Acquainted. You could do the galaxy a favor. A what do you mean by acquainted? Yes. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Tasteful? Tasteful? Yeah, this does feel a bit like a setup. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter. And you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. So these two are involved in slavery. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome. Hurting innocent people. They must be ended. Okay, I'm not saying you're wrong, but... What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. 
Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. Right, I could charge you. Charge her for what, though? I mean, she's asked me to deal with two... criminals? It's hardly a crime, and what, she's acquainted with them? I mean, she's not really admitted anything. Shh. Oh. I mean... I, I, I... All right, I can take care of them, I suppose, and maybe find you later and take care of you. Sure. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. A third set of coordinates. Yeah, where you will ambush and attempt to kill me. And I shall return the favor. All right, okay, well, where was... Hostile takeover. Helena Blake, a high-ranking member of a criminal cartel, has asked you to eliminate two of her unpleasant compatriots. Their bases are located in the Han and Dis systems. After eliminating them, meet Miss Blake in the Fortuna system for a reward. Okay, where are those? Will we be going there? If we're in that neighborhood, I suppose we can take care of them and then possibly go take care of Miss Blake as well. Yeah. Okay, right. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I think we've now checked all of the traders, so we're now ready to just head back. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm a terminally curious person, so... I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Uh... Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Okay. Why? I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Uh... Okay. Well, what are the chances of the disease, then? What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. Okay, so one in 50, but if you are the 50, there are treatments for it. What are the chances the gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. Oh. Yeah. I, I mean, it's her choice. It is absolutely her choice, 100%. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. It's, yeah, and you're not helping by shouting at her. Oh, says the man thinking about shouting at you. Look, it's not your choice. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Listen to what you just said. It's not your baby. Then act, then act like it. Yeah, act like it. You have got to support her in this. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. 
This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Yeah. Tough one, really. I mean, one in 50 chance that the kid has a disease, but it's a manageable one. It can be treated versus one in 300, and the 300 is possibly very, very bad. I think she's probably making the right decision, but it wouldn't matter either way, it's still her decision. Absolutely, 100% her decision. All right, okay, so we need to go to the CSEC, isn't it? It's Ward's locations. CSEC, definitely. That was a little more eventful than I thought Stand it was going to be. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. But yeah, we got some Long. upgrades. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Yeah, uh, well done, Presley. I'm assuming nothing untoward happened whilst I was away. Mostly because untoward seems to follow me around. Message coming in. Patching it through. Okay. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. Ah. Uh, I don't agree with everything you said, but at least you got her on your side. I just hope it doesn't damage relations with the Council. Damage relations with the Council? Why would it... Why didn't you agree with everything I said? Is this because I didn't mention the Turian help on the ship? I was trying to, you know, go for the whole humanity should be proud, we should grasp this opportunity sort of thing. I wasn't feeding her a line, I was just trying to get everyone on board. It's because I didn't mention the Turian thing. Did that come across as a bit xenophobic? That was... You know what, they'll get over it, right? I'm not important enough for them to get hysterical over. Well, that would have been true a few weeks ago, but now you're above most humans in their regard. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Uh, yeah, all right. You know what? He's got a point. I'm now an ambassador for humanity, I guess. He did sound disappointed. Probably need to work on my people skills. I'll get right on that after I've finished working on my shotgun skills. Why do I have Asteroid X-57 marked on the map? Did I pick up some information? Did I hear something in an elevator? Is this just some sort of intuition that I should go there? We can check it out. We're going to be in the neighborhood. We're heading to Navaria. And Strenus and Strenus. That is where the guy in the Citadel Tower, his brother went missing in that system. I wonder if that has anything to do with the Geth activity here. We will check there after we've been to Pax. I'm pretty sure Pax is where we're supposed to be heading first of all. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Another one? Shepard, this is Admiral Gohoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher War. Damn, I hope you get this message. Okay. It was a group called Cerberus. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely...
completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Okay. He sent me... Where? 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 Cerberus. Admiral Kohaku has given the coordinates to a research facility run by Cerberus. You need to investigate the planet Bif Binthu and find out what Cerberus is unleashing... And why Cerberus is unleashing alien monstrosities in the Atacan Traverse. Where is it? The Voyager Cluster. Okay, well, I'm sure we're going to be heading in that direction at some point. Prothean data disks. Yeah, he sounded pretty worried, didn't he? Where exactly... Wasn't Hades... Voyager Cluster, right. So we we got a lot of things to check out in the Hades. Gamma sector as well. Alright, well we will be in that neighborhood. But let's uh, let's just focus on the mission at hand. So Neveria is actually a planet in the pack system in the Neveria in the Neveria cluster. Okay. Well I'll tell you what, let's just scan around. What do we have? Svarog is a small but typical hydrogen and helium gas giant whose orbit lies quite close to the star. It is unusual for a star with a close orbiting gas giant to have a habitable world. Svarog is Pax's only gas giant, but its temperature... Velus has a thin atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Most other materials have frozen and fallen as snow. Its surface is composed of potassium with deposits of magnesium. While investigating the primitive anaerobic life of Velus, Binary Helix survey teams discovered a cunningly hidden anchorage of the ancient Krogan warlord Morrow. Many records and artifacts of the Krogan rebellions were recovered and sold at auction. The empty base is now abandoned. Okay. Matriarch's writings recovered. Okay, well that's that's all of the planets except Neveria scanned and they're pretty much empty, so it's gotta be here. Neveria is a small, frozen, terrestrial world barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Neveria Development Corporation, who lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Given Neveria's unique situation, it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. Right, population 361,000. Okay then. So is this... Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. I guess we, uh... Go meet the landing party and confirm our identity. Of course, the next question is, who do I want to take with me? I'm feeling like we might... I might want some muscle with me. I feel like I should take Caden or Ashley along at some point as well, but I definitely want Rex, just because, and I kind of want Garrus, just because. Definitely want his uh, decryption, just in case, but I also, I just, I'm thinking I want a somewhat intimidating presence behind me, and those two definitely provide that. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Okay. 
Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Okay. I was expecting someone to be meeting us pretty much here. I mean, that's another uh, docking port. Ah, here they are. Well, they look friendly, don't they? That's far enough. Can I help you step aside? Uh, no. Okay, you want to ID you want to confirm our identity? Yes. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. Oh. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I need yours. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. <laughs> Don't like I'm her. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. And I outrank you. Uh, no, I'm, look, I am with the council. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Uh, no. Don't try it. I am a specter, which means I am above the law. We're keeping the weapons. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock. We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One. Two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Yeah, like I said. Working on my people skills.